I got a new neck knife. This is the Boker Magnum Little Friend Micro. Now that's an awfully big name for a little knife. So we're gonna have to see if it lives up to its name. Boker Magnum Little Friend Micro. Okay, take a look at this, right? This thing is tiny. So it's definitely micro. So that fits. It's pretty useful. So it's your little friend. And it's made by Boker, so no question about that. Magnum just doesn't fit. My wife and boys got this for me. And of course everybody got their own as well. You can buy these right now at Amazon for $18, which is a like $18 is uh, more than 30% off the regular price. I think that represents a really good value, and uh, I'll tell you why, but if you go to the website, survivalnewsonline.com, I'll have a link right to the, to the same knife that we bought. We got the best price and free shipping if you get Amazon Prime. Okay, take this off and check it out. This tiny little thing comes with a chain, a Kydex sheath, and the knife. I really like Kydex. It's something that you can remold if you need to. And as this knife comes from the factory, it's a little rattly. I'm gonna put this in the oven and heat it up and soften it. And then I'm gonna put the knife back in it and pinch it shut just a little more. And it'll be tighter. That's simple. I don't know about its uses as a defensive weapon. I mean, if you consider the fact that it has a skull crusher pommel, how are you gonna do it, right? Can't grip it, can't pound anybody with it. My thinking is that as a defensive weapon, this thing is woefully inadequate, but that's not why they got it for me. They got it for me so that when I have to open an envelope, I've always got it right here. Or I did cut a piece of plastic tube with it, a soft plastic tube, and I actually did cut a piece of cheese with it. It can be done, it's just, that's a very small blade. The entire knife weighs 1.3 ounces. The overall length is under three and a half inches. It's micro. It definitely lives up to the micro name. These are G10 handles. That's excellent. G10 is like a glass fiber version of micarta, which is either paper, cloth, or linen. G10 is the same kind of uh, epoxy impregnated fiber, except they use glass fiber. It's very stable. Uh, to humidity and temperature, and it's hard. Now, it doesn't have quite the tackiness that my Carta does, but it's got a really good texture on it, so I don't think you're gonna miss it. It's hard and tough, so it's not brittle. It's 440A stainless with a sandblasted, distressed finished look on it that is very cool. It's nice to have a knife that doesn't rust or hardly rusts. Uh, it's a little harder to get an edge on it. It does come quite sharp. You can kind of shave your arm with it, although it does grip the hair a little. So it's, it's plenty sharp for cutting open a package, uh, slicing a piece of cheese, or uh, cutting a little piece of plastic tubing. You know, as a micro utility knife, it fits the belt pretty well. Very short handle, you can barely get a grip on but it does have a finger choil here for control. It's a fairly thick blade, very sturdy. It's not flimsy by any means, uh, but they do hollow grind it to make it easier to get an edge because by hollow grinding it, you get a thinner blade before you put the cutting edge on it. So it just makes it that much easier. It's more acute angle and easier to sharpen. It has a lanyard hole and I'm gonna put a keychain float, bright orange or yellow, because if I ever drop this, I'll never be able to find it, especially in the dark. But with a nice float, that way even if I drop it in the water, I won't lose it. Now this chain, I think might be the weak point, you know, but it's not that big a deal. Just, just get it anyway, you'll be glad you did. I've read some people complaining about the, the chain coming apart. Don't worry about that. Get some Dyneema. I'm gonna put 
a Dyneema necklace around it. Dyneema is really good stuff, also known as Spectra. It's a high modulus polyethylene fiber that is extremely resistant to abrasion, so it's very smooth. And it is very highly resistant to photo degradation from exposure to the sun. So it's fine for wearing around your neck, exposed, you know, all day camping for months and years at a time. It's so light that it floats. It's not gonna feel heavy around your neck. The knife is 1.3 ounces. The sheath might add another one or two tenths of an ounce and the chain maybe another one or two. You'll never feel it. Put this around your neck, you'll have it available all day. It's really handy. My wife put a little pink lanyard on it to distinguish hers from everybody else. My boys took a drum, Dremel tool and carved like a brand right here on the, on the blade. So, since everybody marked their knife, I don't need to mark mine and we'll always know it's mine. Now, I just want to caution you, there is something you need to seriously consider before using this around your neck. If you're climbing and you get this snagged, it's going to hang you, and it's strong enough to hold your entire weight. Whereas if you had this chain around your neck, it would break. Just keep it in mind. But anyway, it's up to you. I just want you to get an idea of how tiny this thing really is. Look at that. I mean, that thing, the entire knife is not as wide as my hand. Here, let's compare it. It's my Benchmade Auto. This is your defensive utility knife, and this is your micro utility knife. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to the blog at survivalnewsonline.com and find out more about this knife. I really think you would enjoy it. And at $18 and free shipping, that's a really good value, especially if you're trying to figure out what to buy somebody for a birthday gift or something. Get them the Boker Magnum Little Friend Micro.